Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to shoot this quick video um, since I just did, mm, I don't even know how long it's been, a month now since I did the video of you guys asking me questions um, and I answered, uh, I'm changing what I'm feeding the boys. So if anybody follows this and has asked me what I feed them and stuff, I thought I'd share um, that I'm changing their dog food, not the brand, but I'm changing the dog food to grain free. It's still the healthy weight formula chicken recipe. The other one I got was in a bright blue bag. This one's in a kind of a deeper blue, a bright blue, a uh, yellow. Why do I want to say blue? I wonder why. <laughs> uh, bright yellow bag. Hold on. Someone at the door? No. Um, anyways, I'm giving them grain free. And then while I was at PetSmart, I was thinking, well, if I give them grain free, and my, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to see if it'll help with any of the itchy problems. Um, a lot of people suggested I do it, so I thought, why not? Blue sells it and grain free. Why give them green? Um, maybe it'll help them with their itchies, especially Marley. Um, sorry about that, guys. Someone was at my door. Um, where was I? Oh, trying to help the itchies for Marley and Max. And then I thought, if I'm going to give them grain free food, I can't give them the treats I was giving them, the store-bought ones that I give them, um, which was milk bones, which somebody informed me that they have a chemical, bad chemical in them, which I, I probably knew there was, but I gave them milk bones. That's what I've always given uh, my dogs, even before these four, and never had problems. My dogs didn't have cancer. They all lived long lives, 16, 17 years old, um, but... I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what? They're probably right. I shouldn't give them those treats. So I bought these. I I don't know. I just got grain free nature's recipe. They are not low fat. Um, they're high they're ten percent fat minimum. And you guys know me, I try not to go over five, and I had a hard time finding uh a low fat grain free treat. So if you guys have any suggestions of a store bought kind, because I like having the uh some store bought kind on hand. So along with like sweet potatoes and stuff, I make them. But I couldn't find any low fat. So I'm gonna try these out. And like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, if you buy low fat grain free, let me know <coughs> um what you buy. And then I also bought um, a couple collars. PetSmart had their uh, some collars and harnesses and leashes, all on clearance for a dollar. And I found these two. Of course, you're gonna get in the way, Maggie. No, uh, Martha Stewart dog collars for a dollar. I thought they were cute. They're just kind of like a tan and brown collar. I got one for Miggy too, because Miggy and Marley keep your head that way. <laughs> There you can see the color a little better. They uh, wear their collars out more. I don't know why. They get dirtier. They're worn out. Like Max, his collar, you can still see the um, pattern on them and the reflective uh, they have for at night. Marley and Mickey's were just, it was gone. They were they were just the color. Not that you couldn't see any white on it. So I got them a new collar for a dollar each. So this is the day after Easter. So, um... Run out there and see if they still have them for a dollar. I wish I would have had some extra money because I would have just snatched up like $20 worth of collars and leashes for the rescue here um, in my town. But no extra money on me this time. So this bag of dog food cost about, oh, let's see my receipt. I usually spend $51.90. So it's a couple dollars more. Excuse me, I'm still fighting whatever I have. It was just a couple dollars more um, than the one I was using. And she said since it's Blue Buffalo, I shouldn't have to mix their food since I'm switching them over. But I'm still going to, I got about a week's worth left of food for them. So I'm still going to do half of their old food to half this for at least one week. And then after that, I'll totally go grain free. 
for the boys. And I'll have to let you know if that helps them with their um, itches, which they don't have it bad. They're not really itching right now. But Max itches all the time. He takes medicine. So I'm going to try, once I get totally green free, I'm going to try to... I'm going to take him off his medicine and see how he does. If he starts itching again, then I'm just going to put him right back on it. So, you guys want this food? You want to try one of these treats? Huh? Let me open this bag up, guys. Okay. Here's what they look like. Little square treats. Looks like, oh, oh, well, there you go, Marley. He gets first one. <laughs> Looks like it's a little like sun horizon on it. Okay. Marley liked his. Max, sit. Look at that beard, you messy beard face. Anybody else have a difficult time keeping their dogs? Uh uh. Marley, you already ate one. Your beard's uh, brushed and not crazy looking. How'd you like those? Did you like them? I think so. We'll see if they have any problems with them. I don't think they will, but. I wish they were a little bit less uh, fat, but um, there's the uh, nutritional things on them, if you can even read that. But I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll let you know um, when they go green-free, I'll let you know how it it's working. See you guys later. Bye-bye.